Paul Hawksby and Charlie Baker live from the Box Park at Wembley, building up yeah. to our live commentary this afternoon on Talk Sport of uh, England. I mean, it's technically it's like, Denmark versus it's England. It's like a beautiful three-course meal. Yes, day, it is. It? You know, you've got your, your Serbia v Slovenia. That's starter, your starter. That's your starter. And then you've got your main. Yeah. But you can only enjoy your pudding, which is Spain, Italy, yeah. if, if England win. That's right. You <laughs> exactly. you if, if England don't win, you won't want any pudding. No, you won't, I, don't watch, right. I don't want to watch any football. Oh. Well, look, joining us now, we're delighted to say, is legendary England keeper. David Seaman. David, good to Hello, see David. you. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Really it's, uh, it, it, well, well, let's talk about the first game because there's yeah. been a lot of fallout and Gareth was talking about the kind of negative feeling around it. I mean, what was, you, what was your take on the game as a, a sort of experienced player who's been in the middle of that kind of thing? Well, I thought it was a, a great result um, and, a, and a decent performance. It weren't, obviously, we can play a lot better than that. We know that. But it's first game. There's, there's always going to be first game nerves, especially in, in this sort of tournament. And... Um, yeah, it, it frustrates me, the negativeness about you know, what, what's being said and about formations and all that. It's, we, we, Gareth picked the team, and the team, for me, was, was perfect. You know, and, and I've got no, no worries at all. You know, if he picks the same team for today, I'm happy with that. Mm. You know, just all this negativeness doesn't help. He was saying that you know, they, a lot of the players aren't on social media, and they're kind of keeping themselves away from it, but some of that stuff gets into the camp, people send them things. I mean, you must be so grateful that you didn't play in a social Free media, social media right? yeah. <laughs> Because it's so hard to escape it. Yeah, but we, back in my day, like a long time ago, um, we had the papers, you know, and they would actually yeah. ship the papers in and we'd right. see them and everything. And, and like this week, I was like, the first thing you would do is you'd, you'd look to see what mark out of 10 you'd got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nowadays it's different, but um, yeah, but that, that was our social media. And then... You know, obviously it's changed now and, you know, there's a lot of easy access to the players. But it's down to the players if they want to read it. Sure. You know, if it's going to be negative and you know it's going to... Don't bother with it. No. Don't do it. You know, don't bother doing it. You know, because you don't... It ain't going to make you play any better. It's probably going to make you, make you feel worse. Yeah. Um, so don't get involved in it. Uh, Pre-Serbia, the bit of a worry about the England team was... Was uh, not necessarily the goalkeeper, but the central defence particularly... But that was one of the positives in the, in the first game, I'd say. Yeah, he was, you know, and Gay came in and, and had a great game. You know, he looked like he'd been playing there for a long time. You know, he was showing composure that, that surprised me, if I'm honest. You know, sometimes you think, oh, he's just going to clear this, clear the decks. And he actually controlled it, found a man and then played on. Um, yeah, so the back, the back four was solid. Mm. You know, obviously Jordan had a, had a couple of decent saves to make as well. And um, yeah, I, I, I just didn't, I don't get where all this bad press and all this negativeness is coming from that, know, must be, that must be great as a keeper when you pull off a, a big save like that and you're, you're getting into the tournament you know you're showing yeah. yourself you know exactly and you know Jordan's been doing that for a long time with England mm. you know and he, he's been brilliant and you know that the save that he made was crucial you know a 1-0 win he doesn't make that save it's a draw and, and yeah he, he's been he's been fantastic with England and it, I just I just felt it was like a, a solid performance it weren't great you know we all know it weren't great and we can play better than that but it was a win, and that's all that matters. You got a fair bit of heat in Euro 96 after the Switzerland game. It was all that build-up. Mm. You had all George and the Dragon. I was there that day. George and the Dragon on the pitch and <laughs> flames everywhere. And, and then it was a pretty drab old match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember I remember going, walking up the tunnel at Wembley, as we, as we did back in that day. And I was seeing, and I saw knights on horses, yeah. like whizzing around the dog track and everything. I was like, "Wow, what's yeah, going on exactly. here?" You know, and the big blow-up trophy in the middle of the, of the yeah. pitch and everything. And that's what happens. You get these pre-tournament nerves, and then all of a sudden it hits you, and you're on the pitch. Sometimes you don't play as well as you did, you know, as or as, as well as you could do. We were the same with Switzerland. You know, we got a lot of stick, but then obviously it was Scotland next, and uh, we we put that to right. Yeah, I mean, so many of England's good performance, good tournaments they're built into they uh, they kind of grew into mm. uh, Italian 90 you guys grew into Euro 96 didn't you so I mean you know we, we suppose we just have to keep patient everybody wants it to be smash bang wallet but we've seen with a lot of teams even Germany last night Hungary had loads of chances it could have been a very different yeah. scoreline so you know we have to we have to say that was a solid three points it was it was definitely solid three points you know and yeah let's just like let's just like say exactly what you say like let's grow with it yeah. you know it was a win it was three points let's move on and and I'm sure, and weirdly, I feel I feel more relaxed going into this game against Denmark than I did against Serbia because I knew Serbia would be difficult, and the fact that it's um, the first game. But today, I feel a lot a lot more comfortable with going mm. in against Denmark, which which is strange, but because Denmark for me are a better team, but yeah. I just feel that we we'll settle in a little bit more now. 
seen Germany with the home advantage, obviously, in this tournament. Obviously, you had that in Euro 96. What, how does that filter through? That, that's brilliant, because you know, it builds and builds. You know, Germany are now coming off the back of two wins. Um, we didn't have that. We had the draw and then a win. Yeah. Okay, the win was against Scotland, so that was, like, massive confidence. Um, yeah, so they, they will get better and better as they go. But they always do in tournaments, don't they? You know, that's the worrying thing about it. You know, they're going to get the home crowd advantage, the momentum's there now. It's just that it's just make sure that we stay with it. You know, make sure that we, you know, if we don't play well and we win, it's a great sign. Mm, yeah. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs, Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.